Thank you, William. Thank you, Jane. It's a pleasure to see everyone out here. Um, as uh, Jane indicated, I'm the founder and uh, executive director of the uh, County Sheriff Brigades of Pennsylvania, and we're establishing brigades in each county. Montgomery County has a very growing and strong brigade, as does Chester County and Berks County and around. So if you're not involved, please uh, get on the website. It's called, uh, the website address is sheriffbrigadesofpen.com. So much for the commercial. <laughs> it's important though to learn the truth and a lot have been said here today that's important. I'd like to remind you of an incident that happened in Culpeper, Virginia in March of uh, 17, um, excuse me, 1775. You may recall a, a, a statement that you learned, give me liberty or give me death. You heard that statement? Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, Patrick Henry first said that when he was riding into Culpeper in that uh, morn and saw a man being uh, whipped mercilessly by the royalist. And he stopped and asked an onlooker, why was that individual, that man being whipped so uh, egregiously? And he was told that he had refused to take a license to preach. He was a pastor who had not taken a license to preach from the royalists, from the British. And he was beaten and three days later and died, refusing to take that license. Little known story perhaps, but that's what gave, what gave rise to Patrick Henry's passion. And he went before the uh, House of Burgesses and in fact made a long passion speech and ended it with that statement, give me liberty or give me death. That's sort of where we are today, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Because how many licenses do you have in your life? Think about it. Let's take, let, well, there are some reasons for licensing, but let's see what that is. A license is the permission from a competent authority to do something that without such permission would be illegal, a trespass, a tort, or not otherwise allowable. That's the definition from Black's Law Dictionary. So that says that if you're not, if you're doing something that's unlawful, you need permission to do that. Let's take an example, sell liquor. That's not lawful, hard liquor anyway, so you need a permit. If you're gonna haul things on a, on a big transport and use our roads for commercial purposes, you need a license. If you're going to do something that is forbidden, I give you an example, my father let me use his car when I was a boy and he gave me license to use it. If I had not gotten his permission and taken it, what would I have done? I would have stolen his car. And I was smart enough at that point that I always did it to get permission. In fact, he always wanted me to bring it back full of gas and better, in a better condition than I took it, equal or better. He wanted me to wash and wax it, which what he do. And I did, because I had a privilege to use his car. So a license is a privilege, not a contract. But I would suggest to you, you get demand, you get required to get a, a uh, permit, they call it, but it's really a license, isn't it? To carry a weapon. And Steve just read what the Constitution said. The right of the citizens to bear arms in defense of themselves and the state shall not be questioned. Article 1, Section 25 says, to guard against the transgressions of high powers which we have delegated, we declare that everything in this article, that's Article 1, are accepted out of the general powers of government and shall forever remain inviolate. The Supreme Court of the state has, this, has confirmed that if you have a right, the state cannot legislate on that fact. Erdman versus Mitchell, 207 PA 79, 1903. The Reality is when you go and get a permit, a license, you are converting your right to bear arms in the eyes of the government to a privilege. Now, there's a lot of crazy people out there who have badges and guns and don't understand the law. And so, perhaps it's prudent today, until we get the six, by the way, there is a bill in Harrisburg to uh, correct this problem, saying that you don't have to have a license. Um, to get a license, under duress, 
because the crazies are going to, in fact, arrest you and put you in jail and fine you and do all sorts of things if they catch you. Now, that's our personal choice. So, what we're trying to do is get the sheriff to hand out a lawful notice that says, you're not required to get this. The Constitution states what I just quoted, that to get a license is conversion or right to a privilege, which you're not required to do. Um, but, understand there's a lot of crazies out there, and so maybe under duress you want to get this license until we get it fixed. That the sheriff will obey the law in his oath of office or her oath of office always and protect you if in fact you are bothered by someone else. To that point, do you know about the sheriff in uh, Liberty County, Florida? Yep. Nick Bench? He is the constitutional sheriff for sure. Because what happened? Someone arrested a man, cited him for carrying concealed without a permit, and the sheriff went and tore that up, threw the papers away, released the man, and he got arrested and charged, destroying government properties and some other charges. In fact, the governor removed him from office. He went to trial, and in about 15 minutes, the jury acquitted him of all charges, and he was reinstated pretty much immediately by the governor to his office. That's a constitutional sheriff. We want to encourage all sheriffs, particularly Sheriff of Montgomery County, um, Sheriff Barr, to act the same way. We need to do that together. And the way to do that is to network, to learn the truth. I encourage you to join, join the Montgomery County Sheriff Brigade and be involved in that effort. Or if you're from another county, join the brigade in that county or create one so that we can work together across all ideas. It's, a great, it's nice to be a Republican if you want to be that, a Democrat, whatever, but that's not what the brigades are about. It's about networking everyone together to solve the cause of the problem, which is those in government don't read, study, understand, and strictly follow the Constitution, their oath of office, according to the original ten of the documents. So we need to do that across all ideas and all races and all kinds of people and beliefs. The fundamental problem is they don't follow the law. The solution is we the people have got to instruct those who work for us that they will follow the law or there will be consequences. But they there aren't. So I'd encourage everybody to do that. And it's great to have you come out. The weather's getting better. And by all means, let's help the people who think you can't have guns and shouldn't have them. They're wrong. They're operating unlawfully. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Bill, PA Sheriff's Brigade. Since we still have freedom of speech, or do we? While we have it, Sheriff. While we have it, from Upper Moreland, Andrew Fisher would like to make a comment. And then if anybody else wants to make just a brief comment after Andrew, you're welcome to. Then we will go up to the corner here, across the street, and walk down through Norristown to show our Second Amendment right to bear arms. Yeah. Andrew Fisher.